Hello. So we'll create a, a document in InDesign um, to put our report in. Um, and of course, we have to start by creating a new document. Uh, and then we can go to print. So we can select A4, make it horizontal, uh, because that's easy to read on screen. And we can print it out and put a staple in the corner if we want. Um, change the units to points because that's easier for your font sizes and such um, then turn off facing pages um, because uh, we want just one page per spread and not two um, and the last we can leave for now and then we click create and then we have our document then it's uh, good to make sure you have typography selected here because then you have the most tools over here and then at the top at the sides um, to actually uh, execute all the steps um, and then you can select the text frame and the type tool from here uh, dra click and drag to make a frame then you can click type and pick fill with placeholder text um, so you have some text to work with for the next steps if selecting typography didn't give you the styles you can still go to window uh, so go to styles and then click paragraph styles because then you get this dialogue and there you see you have the basic paragraph already um, and we can start with that because we can use that for our body text um, and then we can uh, go to basic character formats to select uh, the font we want to use which we picked earlier uh, during the workshop um, for example we could pick Arial the classic um, and then we might want to start with nine points font size um, and what you can see is that it's still quite close together um, so as we said somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5 leading times the, the your font size uh, would be good for the leading um, so we could do uh, 1.5 times uh, 9 and then we get 14.5 and it is a bit large maybe so let's make it 13 um, and this is where you have to eyeball it and iterate over time when you go to uh, indents and spacing make sure you to pick left now you could do left justify here but remember that you get weird spaces here um, if it's uh, shorter line lengths than we have right here uh, now um, and here you can make sure there is space between paragraphs so these are two different paragraphs so um, let's say we make it the same as the line height and then make sure you go to hyphenation and turn hyphenate off um, so it the InDesign doesn't uh, cut off your words at weird uh, places um, and if you want to select a different color than black uh, because it's a caption or a title or whatever you can do that here uh, then press ok and then you have um, at least some basic settings for your text now make sure that at pages here you select a master um, which is something which is applied across all your pages um, then you can click layout margins and columns and start working uh, on the margins here and you can first turn it on so it changes all at the same time uh, and you can always uh, use other units to uh, to type and then it will convert it to the units you're using so for example let's say we want to have 2.5 centimeters margin which is quite a lot but you can start with it then uh, you can see you can just enter it and it will turn that into points um, and then we said we want to uh, have some columns and we quickly go back to the other page copy our text frame and put it here uh, put it in there and see 
how that looks. Um, that's maybe a bit wide, so you could start to uh, lay around with that so the line length is nice, but for now we'll leave it. And as you may have noticed that in margins and columns, I put the gutter on the same uh, width as our line height, but it might actually be good to do two times uh, our line height. Um, and what you see is you can also do calculations uh, in there, so you don't have to go to a calculator to do those, which is nice. Um, and as you can see, we have this text box here, and that text box is also on the normal page, but you don't can't select it. Um, but if we go back and click on this icon, you can extend the text box. So any text which is in um, this text box can overflow to this one, uh, which is nice when you're placing your text. Because if we remove this for now and go here, and then you can use Command Shift uh, on Mac or Control Shift or Windows, uh, and then click on the text frame, you can see it pops out and you can actually select it. Uh, and then we could fill it with placeholder text again, and you can see it goes all the way uh, to the next text box as well, which is also selectable now. Um, so, for example, if you have your report in Word, you can just drag it in here and uh, you're done uh, because it will also create additional pages for uh, what place it needs. Now we just have the um, we just have text and we don't have a title yet. So we might want to go back here uh, and actually take these two text boxes and make them a bit lower and add an extra text box uh, for our title. Um, and then we go to paragraph styles again and make a new paragraph style, which we can also call title uh, and change some things there. We might make it 38 and use, uh, for example, 36 by the way, and 36 for the leading. Then we can click OK. Uh, maybe we want to make sure there's room for two lines of the title. Um, you can see there's a bit more space than we expected, maybe, which is because it was based on the normal paragraph style. So there's some space. We can remove that, and now there is plenty of space. Um, then we can have this, make this 26 points smaller uh, and drag it down here. So the space between the uh, title and the body text is the same as between two columns. Um, and then we can remove the text here again. So now if we go to this page, um, you can see that the text which was first in only only on this page has to overflow to the next page and it created that page automatically. Um, and you can also see that the sizes of these box text frames uh, adjust automatically when we change it in the master. Uh, so now we have space for our title as well. So we can command shift and click that box again, uh, add a proper title to this page. Um, and then we have that. Um, but now also on this page, there is a lot of room used for the title while there is no title. Um, if you want to be able to use that, uh, what you could do is create a second master. Uh, so you can duplicate this one. And on this master, you can delete the text box for the title and make the columns the text boxes, the full height of the column again. Uh, and then you can drag this onto this page. Um, and it doesn't happen automatically. Perfect. Let me 